Our top story, Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor and 11 other AGs file a new lawsuit against one of the Biden administration's COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. The AGs from those 12 states won a federal court to block the vaccination requirement for health care workers. News on Six's Ashlyn Brothers is live with this details. Ashlyn? Lori and Craig O'Connor says that the health care field is already being threatened by a very large labor shortage and says that this mandate would only exacerbate the problem. Attorney General John O'Connor is suing the Biden administration, saying its COVID-19 vaccine mandate for health care workers is, quote, sinister and a complete overreach. I just don't think that the Biden Harris Pelosi Troika should be telling us how to live our lives out here. O'Connor says his civil rights unit received complaints regarding a directive to suspend more than 100 Tulsa hospital employees. Ascension was directing the denial of virtually all exemptions requested on religious grounds. We considered that religious discrimination. O'Connor says the mandate impacts about a quarter of the nation's health care workers who aren't vaccinated. The health care frontline workers that we called heroes a year ago, they're being fired if they won't take the vaccine. AARP says nearly 43 percent of nursing homes and other long term care facilities in Oklahoma are dealing with staff shortages and more than 42 percent of health care staff aren't fully vaccinated. The White House argues the president's policies will help in the pandemic sooner rather than later. Before the president began implementing vaccine requirements, we were averaging less than 250,000 per shot per day. It's clear that these requirements driven by the president's leadership are getting more people vaccinated, accelerating our path out of the pandemic, saving more lives. The federal government does not have the authority to compel us to let somebody stick a needle in our arms and inject chemicals into our arms when we object to that. And O'Connor tells me he believes the mandate violates the Social Security Act, the Spending Clause, the Anti-Commandeering Doctrine, and the Tenth Amendment. Live in Tulsa, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.